The people of Surulere are not the only ones that benefited from their elected representative. Well, the member representing the Etiosa constituency at the Lagos State House of Assembly also carried out dental medical outreach and empowerment of members of his constituency. Take a look. This is just a fraction of residents in the Etiosa State constituency too who visits the premises of the Federal Civil Service Club daily to partake in a medical outreach facilitated by their representative. The outreach, which has been on since February 14, will last for up to eight weeks. It provides free dental health care to children and adults, ranging from minor issues of scaling and polishing of the teeth to major ones like tooth extraction. The program is an expanded program, including basic dental treatment and advanced cases. So the advanced cases, we've booked them, like patients for root canal therapy, surgical extractions and um, dentures. Though we've been taking impressions for fabrication of dentures, but the root canal therapy and the surgical extraction, we'll be doing that in our, our main clinic. So that will be done weekends. Why the basic treatment? So, so far so good. All the patients that presented, all the people that presented, in one way or the other, we're able to manage. Even bridges too, yeah. Um, bridges are one of the advanced cases that um, we're doing for this um, program. Besides being a self-service, the outreach is meant to complement the efforts of the state government healthcare program. What we normally do most of the time, which we've done in the past two editions, is to bundle all kinds of medical checkups, um, high blood pressure, diabetics, HIV tests, dental, eyeglasses, cervical cancer, bundle them up in three-day program. But we now thought let's do something a bit more far-reaching, where which can actually solve the problems that people present. What Lagos State is doing currently, which I know it is top-notch, is nothing like that in the country, is that we have we passed the law some years back, which is the medical insurance scheme. This government this year has, is implementing that medical scheme, whereby people contribute some money, but everybody gets medical insurance. Nobody can really afford to pay for health care. We need to lean on the insurance system. And by having that law, which is the medical insurance, I think Lagos State has opened the doors of all the hospitals, medical services to entire population of Lagos State. Apart from the free medical care, the state lawmaker is also investing in youth empowerment. Yes. Mr. Ishawu visits one of the Lagos State Vocational Training and Skill Acquisition Centers located in Lagos Island, where 150 youth from his constituency have been trained in various areas, including hairdressing and cosmetology, fashion design, bead making, as well as welding and fabrication, computer education and photography, among others. As a follow-up to their progress, the visit also affords the lawmaker the opportunity to interact with the students and get first-hand information on their needs and how he can be of assistance to them. Over the last years, few years, we've done um, over 1,500 persons so far, sending them down to the school in various vocations, aluminium works, welding, computer training, fashion designing, as you've seen here, here hairdressing, computing, and so on and so forth. So we've done quite a lot for them for that purpose. And so my involvement here is to drive the people here for them to take care of this, I mean, to, for them to acquire vocational education. Of course, some of them have challenges in getting here, so we'll see what we can do. Some of them have challenges on how to buy materials. All those ends, we'll see what we can do. Education should not be left to government alone. So from time to time also, we donate um, equipment, sewing machines, computing, and so on and so on to the school, which I encourage other people to also do. Government has created this school already. Lagos State government has created this school under the leadership of um, Governor King Mambode. So we can support by equipping the school from time to time as more students keep coming into the school. The vocational center is solely financed by the state government through the Ministry of Women Affairs and Poverty Alleviation. 
but regular support from individuals and groups have been complementing the state government's efforts. You know, it's a government-sponsored program, so definitely funds are made available by the state government. But you see, the average norm is that government is doing their very best. So I'd expect that over time, you know, um, all of the statesmen should also contribute their own quota to ensure that these students who are getting trained here, yeah, majority of them, they do it on the basis of uh, because uh, on the basis of the fact that they have not gained admission into the um, tertiary institutions, and some of them because they cannot afford to advance to that level. So majority of them come here to learn because it's at a very reasonable cost, at no cost at all because it is free. You know, it's just for the form that they make payment for. And once this is done and they learn at, you know, under the terms and conditions that is put down by the government, they are good to go. With facility provided by the state government and support from the public, the students are happy and encouraged. This is the third month now, from January 8th, and it's just too good and it's nice. I didn't regret why coming. Uh, it normally is very difficult, but now it's by the grace of God. Why did you choose fashion? Ah, there's money in it, and that's what is involved. I'm a caterer too, so I want to join it together so that when I'm going out, I dress and look beautiful. Our daily need is what we are using from the practicals because we do a lot of things every day. We do new design. We, do, uh, we are into all anything that just with cosmetology. That's what we are doing here. So we need help for our practicals on a daily basis. I want to employ all others to support us like this. As If you have like maybe like two or three, four honorables doing this thing, we are going to go higher. Good representation translates into good governance. Like Bola on Yishau, good governance should be people-oriented and able to transform lives. This will lead to reduction of unemployment and crime in the society.